Hey guys, Miss Pascal here. I hope that you have had a great first day of your learning at home. Um, I really miss seeing you guys this morning and giving you a big hug. So I'm giving you a hug from over here at my apartment. Um, but I hope that you had some time to read today. I hope that you got some math done and maybe practice some of your reading skills. Um, I know how much our reading class loves Storyline Online. And so I figured that I would read a story to you guys every day that we're out. Um, I ran out of school so quickly on Friday that I didn't bring any of our books home to read to you. So I actually went into a Tupperware that was in my back storage closet and I found a couple of books that I read when I was your age. So a lot of the books that I'm gonna be reading to you guys, you probably haven't read before, um, but that's not a bad thing. It's always good to read some new books. So today, the book that I'm going to read to you is called Elizabeth and Larry, um, and it's a book by Marilyn Sadler. So I'm going to read this one to you guys. Make sure that you guys can see it too. Elizabeth and Larry were old friends. Elizabeth was 62 and Larry was pushing 40. Elizabeth met Larry for the first time many years ago. He was delivered to her by mistake with the box of oranges she ordered from Florida. Elizabeth decided to keep Larry and she gave him a room above the garage. She put the oranges in the refrigerator. Larry loved his new home. His only complaint had to do with the size of the pool. Every day, Elizabeth and Larry went walking. Larry was always drawn to the zoo. He was fascinated by the unusual exhibits. On sunny days, they went to the beach. Larry taught Elizabeth how to float. He also taught her how to dive for fish. Everywhere they went, people stared at them. Elizabeth thought it was because everyone wanted a friend like Larry. Then one day, she found out it was because no one liked Larry. This was the first time Larry realized he was different. Up until then, he had assumed he looked like Elizabeth. So as the years passed by, Elizabeth and Larry spent less time out and more time alone at home together. They talked for hours over tea and told each other things they had never told anyone. They loved to play cards. Although Elizabeth preferred Old Maid, Larry's game was poker. Larry was a big help around the house too. There was nothing he loved more than vacuuming. Sometimes he dumped potting soil on the rug on purpose so that he could clean it up. Maybe some of you guys helped your parents vacuum today. And when Elizabeth had knitting to do, Larry held the yarn. It was the least he could do in return for the leg warmers. Whenever Elizabeth and Larry did go out, Larry went in disguise. He did not like wearing Elizabeth's clothes, but people seemed to like old ladies better than they did alligators. Once, while they were out walking, a man tried to take Larry's pocketbook. But he changed his mind. Then one day, some of Elizabeth's relatives came to visit. She had not seen them for many years. Larry was surprised to see how much they looked like Elizabeth.
they were very nice to Larry. But Larry did not feel like part of the family. He wanted to look like Elizabeth too. After that, Larry was not himself. He boiled water for tea, but forgot the tea bags. He went out without his hat or his pocketbook. He didn't even try to get rid of the old maid. Elizabeth had never seen Larry so sad but she had known Larry for many years and she knew what was wrong. Larry was tired of being different. He wanted to be with alligators. So it was quite sadly decided that Larry would return to Florida. Elizabeth took Larry to the airport and bought him a one-way ticket home Everyone was staring at him when they said goodbye. After that, Elizabeth was not herself. Every day she sat at her window and waited for letters from Harry, from Larry. <laughs> Larry wrote to her often, but it was not the same. Even his phone calls didn't comfort her. Everyone who knew Elizabeth had never seen her look worse. What you need is a cat, they said. But what Elizabeth really needed was to be with Larry. So one day, Elizabeth sold her house and bought a one-way ticket to Florida. She also bought some mints and a magazine to read on the plane. When Elizabeth arrived in Florida, Larry was there to greet her. They agreed they would never part again. Elizabeth loved her new house. Her only complaint had to do with the size of the pool. It wasn't quite large enough. The end. So I hope that you guys enjoyed reading a new book with me. Um, this one was Elizabeth and Larry. It's one of the books that I read when I was younger. But I hope that you guys had a really great first day learning. Um, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. So I can't wait to see you guys. Bye.